One of the best Terraria boss mods has finally updated for the first time in years. From adding in some super unique bosses to also adding in some classic bosses from some of Terraria's oldest mods. You gotta play this mod in your next playthrough. Let's hop in game and check it out. We are here checking out a classic Terraria mod that has finally updated to the current T mod loader version. I'm talking about Vibrant Reverie aka the w1k mod this is a mod that adds in a kind of miscellaneous set of items bosses all that mostly video game references i think 90 percent video game references and it also adds in some of my favorite terraria bosses ever from one of the first terraria mods i ever played boom sneak peek that's it that's it let's hop straight into it though and start going through the bosses the first one being the antlion king find an antlion burrow occasionally spawning on the desert surface and interact with it without using any explosives got it let's go ahead let's go straight to the desert let's uh spawn this burrow with a cheat sheet so this is what it looks like boom it's just gonna be chilling here on the sand surface as we can see we interact with it bomb them let's let's bomb them i guess not in like a suspicious sort of way i don't have any explosives oops tell me that again tell me that again yes sir oh my god look at that thing terrifying this might be one of the sickest sprites from this mod because i believe this is a fully original boss from this mod and not a game reference at the end of the day though it is an antlion boss in terraria and if you may be like emerson why are you so upset saying that there is like 10 antlion bosses throughout terraria modding history i could probably find 10 maybe even more but it's got a cool fight so far for this being a very early one post king slime it's literally the second boss you were to fight unless you count the torch god is one and he sticks his little head out of the ground like an antlion would and then he spawns in these little sand fish at us and then on top of that also shoots a bunch of sand at us also like we see antlions in this game do so fun little boss i have no idea if this boss is affected by master mode difficulty or not because i believe this mod probably still is a little bit of a work in progress here and there especially with it just finally coming out for t mod 1.4 yeah let's start doing some damage we pretty much have seen all the attacks i'm wondering at this point if there's a phase two or something maybe not since it's an early boss but let's see it does do that little explosion when a bunch of this like fake sand builds up which uh is kind of interesting kind of clears the whole obstacle it creates on its own which is i guess good and bad because i feel like the obstacle of all the sand everywhere is a part of the boss fight so it clearing it i don't know it's a little weird but i believe that's all let's take out the antlion king this low key might be one of my favorite iterations of an antlion boss though because it's just kind of cool and the attacks weren't bad i might have to do a video where i cover like a bunch of repeat bosses in terraria from mods the next boss here is post skeletron it is fought in the underground jungle with this cursed flower let's bring it in rancid reflexia raffleshia i don't know this thing looks nasty it does fit the jungle Ooh, this has to be from a game i don't know what game if i were to guess i would say a final fantasy game but yeah this thing does fit the jungle i believe it had a different sprite in the past i like the attack so far it's got the little poison clouds and then it spawns in a bunch of little flies i don't know if i like the little flies being spawned in i don't really know if i like enemies spawning in or bosses spawning in little enemies could be annoying but the other attacks seem cool like that little thorns attack was kind of sick but yeah post skeletron so it is gonna be a little bit harder that's like towards the end of pre-hard mode do we have any other attacks though besides the poison clouds and the little shock room slash thorns attack it seems like that that's it i guess we can consider the spawning of enemies also an attack but just a nice little jungle theme boss here in the middle of pre-hard mode that isn't the queen bee i mess with it you can always use some jungle love even though i think it is the most loved biome in terraria now we get to my favorite bosses ever in modded terraria history just because like i said nostalgia man the first bosses i've ever fought and seen in modded terraria and that is the three elemental birds we got arbor aquatics and ardorix so each of these you do need to fight in a certain biome starting with aquatics is he the weakest one i have no idea let me look at the boss checklist arborix is the first one apparently but whatever we're doing aquatics first boom look at him a little bit outdated sprite wise but still so beautiful i love these things these are also some of the earliest yuri mir videos i watched which is one of the terraria legends on youtube come on now we all know about yuri mir if you don't you too young 
it's time to look him up or you don't know enough about terraria youtube lore but i remember watching he had like a couple of videos about fighting these dudes and then also fighting the mech version of these dudes which the mech versions aren't in this mod sadly but i think you fight the mech versions like all three at once which was such a sick idea and watching him fight it was so fun because that was old terraria old terraria wasn't as easy you don't have a lot of good items you had to rely a lot more on just being able to use the default mechanics of the game like do you guys remember fighting mech bosses with garbage wings and you had to literally use the grab potions just to even fight the mech bosses i still don't think i ever beat more than one mech boss back in terry 1.1 let's see what type of attacks he has he's got the little water projectiles that go all around when he's just flying he's got a little dash attack he goes invisible after a little bit or uh, invincible kind of a little bit of both transparent i guess it seems like that is it for aquatics which i definitely see him as one of the weakest of the birds hold up is he doing something new he's kind of just spawning more of the uh water projectiles everywhere which could be a dangerous attack depending on the type of arena but yeah i see this dude as the weakest let's see our dorix though which is the bird well they're all birds the jungle bird go ahead our borks what do he oh i like that what else does he have though he's got the little thorns explosion which is a sick attack because it covers a lot of area he also goes into that little invincible state after a while oh and then it's kind of his thorns attack but on him instead of being a projectile that lands so you're gonna have to clear out a good bit of area here which could be good because maybe you clear out a big area to fight this dude and maybe a plantera bulb spawns there in the future so you don't have to make an arena in hard mode because that is a top three thing i hate in terraria is making in that arena making the wall flesh arena and probably mining in hard mode at the beginning of hard mode i hate sometimes could be tedious depending on you know rng but straight to hell we go to see our dorks aka my favorite one come on it's the flame one it's usually gonna be the coolest we got the little flaming projectiles that kind of split and go two different directions after a while of course the dash attack in the iframes so you can't really like speed run this boss too crazy oh the flamethrower the triple flamethrower attack I don't know if it only aims at downwards or what or because it shot down because i was down there i, I kind of want to see if we can get it to aim that upwards okay yeah i think it's definitely the angle where you're at but it's mainly going to be downwards because it kind of starts from the top oh and look at that it has little tinier flame projectiles along with the flamethrower that flamethrower attack is kind of crazy it covers a lot of area so this could like low-key be an insane fight especially for pre hard mode yeah i think we have seen everything definitely the best fight out of all of them still a little simplistic but that might just be to pay respects to the og version of the boss fights i don't know actually i haven't seen those fights in a minute let's keep going though after the wall of flesh we got ridley literally a metroid boss this is when we start seeing the uh, gaming references start coming in i guess let's go in space is gonna be the best place to fight it boom ridley i think that's literally the sprite from whatever game it's from obviously metroid but i don't know which one uh it's got the little tail that's shooting out little fireballs that come out too i can barely see this thing it's like hanging from above the screen low-key drake reference the way it's swinging it long i mean it's tail in my face so what happens if i kill the tail is it just gone for the rest of the fight oh look at that yeah it's a whole separate boss pretty much he's making funny noises game boy sp type noises is that all though is the tail the little fireballs uh, that seems like that's it very simplistic fight i still like the sprite you know it might be directly from a game like come on bro there's literally a metroid mod there's like a lot of tutorial mods that you can literally make a whole metroid pack because there's like a decent amount of tutorial mods that just straight up add in metroid enemies so next up is rathalos these sprites are a little bit goofier these i don't know if these are custom or if there's like a game boy monster hunter that this is from or what i don't know but we know rathalos is a sick looking dragon in terms of modern day monster hunter graphics and we knew that uh or we know now that terraria tried to do a collab with monster hunter but then they got egoed by capcom i think hate to see it because i would love to fight rathalos or any other monster hunter monsters in terraria as an official boss but yeah a little goofy looking still kind of cool that you get to fight this thing but the fight isn't anything to be like super hyped about there's also yon cut cool which also is from monster hunter it's pretty much the same thing i think maybe just projectiles i, I wasn't paying attention to the rathalos file i'll be honest with you next up is okiku summons the dark shogun 
Wait, is this Okiku? Who is this? This ain't Okiku. Is this Okiku? <laughs> Maybe the bosses are wrong. But we're fighting the Dark Shogun. This is a giant mask. I don't know what game this is from. He's got the little like projectiles around him. Damn souls. And when we kill those damn souls, they kind of just grow bigger. So they kind of get out of the way for you to fight the boss. This boss has a lot of projectiles though. It kind of feels like this dude's like pulling me in. Oh, he is actually pulling me in. So this is one of those bosses where you gotta kind of stay close to fight him. But yeah, kind of goofy looking. The, the sprite itself is really not like Terraria themed at all or any theme relating to Terraria. So I, I don't really know how to feel about this boss. The fight itself doesn't seem too bad. It, maybe he just needs a couple more attacks, but uh, it does have some cool things like the fact that I can't go far away to fight it. But is that it? What are we seeing now? We're looking at its front face. Hold up. Does it turn into Okiku? Is this boss somehow Okiku in any way? I don't know. Oh, is that Okiku? <laughs> Who is that? It does have a phase two shadow dragon, which looks kind of sick. I'm not going to lie. And dark dragon mask. So no, it is the same thing. Just a flying mask or whatever was under the mask. A sort of demon looking thing. It's got a lot of projectiles. So I, I can respect that it does have a couple of phases and different attacks. I like how the dragon, every time you kill it, drops a bunch of hearts because it's like a separate boss. Is that Okiku? Oh my God, look at that. Three phase boss? What the hell is Okiku? I don't know. Will my computer to be haunted if i google search what okiku is so three phase boss fight kind of sick you don't see that too often a lot of projectiles in this fight a lot of teleporting going around kind of reminds me of the lunatic cultist but maybe a little bit less visually pleasing there's a lot of stuff like are those body parts flying around what is that i don't know and then she spawned in a lot of more saw blades what the hell is that is that a head or what is that can i grab those i can't grab them I, I really don't know what those are but interesting boss fight to say the least especially visually very interesting looking visuals what is okiku look at that head let us speed run the last couple of bosses here the next one is john pierre i can't read the rest we're using the dungeon master guide go ahead john pierre the dungeon master yo this is the dude that's on the th the thumbnail for the mod he's summoning attacks he said aggressive thundercloud yo those are some aggressive thunderclouds burning hands oh shoot my boy about to whip out the hot ass hands those aren't really hands uh it's a cool looking boss i like the looks of this one way more oh i grabbed this size my bad bro Oh, I keep grabbing it. I'm trying to bring him up here. Magic missile. He's spawning in actual magic missiles that are chasing us. Old school Terraria weapon. I don't think I've ever used the new magic missile. The flame lash, though, is S tier. But yeah, I like this boss. Got a lot of variety in its attacks. Don't know if it's a game reference or what. But this one so far has been solid. And I don't hate the uh, sprite work. Let's do some more damage, though. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a uh, Tome of Manipulation attack. Okay. Got some more attacks. Literally, Lunatic Cultist circle around it now. I wonder what that does. I'm assuming maybe it damages you if you touch it. Cloud Kill. What's Cloud Kill? Yo, literally clouds that kill me. That is a great name for an attack. <laughs> Yo, now he's got rocks? I'm messing with this. Good, good shit, John Pierre. The name's a little funny. I don't know many John Pierres out there, but I think we've seen enough from him. See you later. Yo, you do get his sight. You do get his sight. Yo, look at the attack on it. Too sick. Hold up. It charges up. Yo. Let's go ahead and finish off the bosses. The last one is Crack Codis, the primordial something. Crack Codis? Yo, that's also... Okay, no, it says Hydra Spawner, actually. That's not the same mask as earlier. Work in progress boss fight. It is a underworld boss, and it is a work in progress. Still, though, I want to see what it looks like. Go ahead. What the heck? This is sick. <laughs> I love Hydra's interior. They always are very interesting and cool looking, no matter what mods they're from. This is sick. If this is a work in progress, I am hyped to see the progress that comes out of this work. Because look at this. I don't know if this is also from a game again. Gotta gotta figure out. Gotta do my research after I record this video. But this thing is sick. It's got like a turtle shell in the back. It's got the five heads. All got different names. Frax, Shax, Olax, Kuax and ball sacks. Sick. Yeah, obviously each head has a different attack, a sort of different element. Man, this is actually really awesome. I'm very interested to see the final progress of this. But what happens if we kill a head? It's just gone? It's not going to grow anymore like a Hydra? Maybe that's what it's going to do in the future? We'll see. Yo, it does like a chomping attack? That's sick. But yeah, this that's definitely something to look forward in the future. Where, where else do I hit it? Oh. There you go. That's that's super dope though. I'm actually really excited about that. That might be the coolest boss from the mod. But yeah, there's probably some other things in this in terms of enemies. Actually, I don't know. That that really might just be a magma golem. 
okay look a little stiff granite replicant okay so there is a couple of other enemies in here fire queen oh look at that we got a chow the thing from the the sonic games it won't let me spawn it in but it's there but yeah i'm excited to see that this mod is fully back though it's very exciting because i believe i would have this mod in a couple of packs back in the day couple of older mod packs back in t mod loader 1.3 so it is very exciting to see it back because i'll probably have it in some future mod packs yo that dude looks sick that little samurai warrior phantom i guess very quickly we could breeze through some of the items in here see if any are like super sick or anything yo that's sick it's like shooting out a mirage of me with a sword what else do we got brusher straight up just a p90 can't go wrong with p90s in terraria like the calamity has that like super insanely fast p90 it seems like all the weapons from uh john pierre they all have like a little charge to them so some of them kind of got some themes going on spirit shield dude, these are some solid weapons they're very unique a lot of time when i look at terraria weapons from mods smaller mods they're either super good or they're just very plain and it seems like the ones from this mod are unique there's also an antline armor set you love to see that some more armor sets magma thrower sauce dicer this is uh that one like disc reload gun what is that a little little nasty fly next to me i don't know how i feel about having a fly summon yeah pretty solid mod overall again i'm excited to see what they do in the future in terms of more content look at that there's a power suit so like i said metroid playthrough terraria metroid playthrough hold up there's also the cut coup i don't think the cut coup is fully implemented yet though but there is some stuff in here to look forward to maybe in the future with this mod we might get the mech version of the the elemental birds i don't know but yeah shout out to everyone that has worked on on the mod i'm excited to see more especially the hydra boss so make sure y'all check out the mod download it and play it also make sure to leave a like subscribe and turn on notification bell for future videos second channel game raiders live i post my live streams there and i stream on twitch twitch.tv slash game raiders 101 i'll be streaming late night randomly or i'll stream in the middle of the day there's no specific times and that's where you gotta like go on my discord or follow my twitter to just see when i tweet when i go live but yeah thank y'all for watching the video i'll see y'all next time